Well, we got two cans there. Okay. That's if you finally get to see your cash. I am not hiding or avoiding anything. Springford Jr. was later arrested in Colorado on capital murder charges and brought to Montgomery. When it really was obvious that he had uh, he had done what he, he had done, I, I just found that almost impossible to believe. Four years later, a guilty verdict left the son serving life without parole. The bandstand will remain the same, the elevated dining section, uh, the bar is in the exact same location. The Mike Watson tells us about his latest venture in bringing Graham Woods pub to Cloverdale. But when he went to apply for his liquor license, he was met with opposition from two doors down. I'm standing in the heart of Smut Eye, which basically consists of a stop sign and an old grocery store, which is now closed down. But these crumbling remnants of the past aren't stopping them from moving to the future. This house it started working on it in 1837. We met up with retired Army veteran and writer Major Cox. It was home. Yeah, I just enjoy being here. We got a tour of the farmland that he and his wife inherited. The same land where his ancestors worked as slaves. And the cabin he was born in 75 years ago. Hop! Hop! We also met the animals on the farm. He tells us the rural community was first called Welcome, but in the 1900s would get a nickname that would stick. Cox says it came from an old blacksmith named George Pope, located across from the old Smut Eye Grocery. It was a meeting place where men would gather around the fire pit. If they started wiping their eyes, you know, smoke getting in their eyes, so they would come home, bring that telltale sign of being over there carousing with old man Pope and drinking his moonshine. Uh, with, with smutty eyes. And smut eye it's been ever since. The next place on our tour. Over 300 agencies rely on the Montgomery Area Food Bank that comes to about 330,000 people that rely on your donations. Some of the best things that we can get here in the food bank are lean proteins. So beans, um, canned meat and fish, chicken, things like that. Everybody loves peanut butter, so that's a great thing. And the Montgomery Area Food Bank is hoping this year they will get even more donations. Thanks to all those who come to the fair and have a big heart. They need help. Like, it's good to help people. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! What is it you like to have for Christmas this year? I want a tablet. A 3DS and... A Nintendo 3DS? Uh -huh. Or the soothing spa. A Barbie dress with a bell. A Bible. A Bible, uh-huh. And a gun that shoots out jelly. A gun that shoots out jelly? And I want a telescope. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. A kitty cat. A kitty cat. I'm talking about the red one with all of the red one, mm -hmm. and the brown one with all of the brown. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for coming to see me. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say ho, ho, ho. And now, do you think you can be good for six more days? There we go. I'll hold you to that promise, all right? Thank you. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you'll go down in history. <laughs> and Merry Christmas to you. Can you give me a hug? Oh, thank you so much.